During 1991, Flak Plus investigated gun running from Mozambique to ANC and PAC units in the country. A plan to ambush and arrest four gun smugglers turned into a shooting spree. The four men were killed in cold blood. But the official story was that they were killed in self-defense. Kilino followed them and told us that the smugglers had weapons in their car and that they were afraid that they would be robbed by these people. They then decided to eliminate these people by shooting them. During this discussion, it was decided that it would create a problem if it was uh, mentioned that the Uvambu Kufut members um, shot the smugglers. Because at that stage, there were various rumors that the security police were involved in so-called third force activities and specifically flock plots by, amongst others, Derkutsia and Nofumela. In other words, the information that came from this incident would, of course, place further pressure on the South African police and the government. At that stage, um, negotiations were started as, and they there were negotiations between the ANC and the PAC and the National Party and other such um, liberation movements. If it came to the knowledge that the um, NP government was compromised by the police, um, it would make the negotiations, negotiations difficult. The false plan which we had was to say that it was the task force, the, the the special operational unit which had shot these people, then no questions would have been asked. But the moment you mention that it was Kufut members or Flakplas members, then, then it was a problem. A psychiatrist's report handed to the Amnesty Committee this week states that some of the applicants suffer from severe post-traumatic stress disorder and that this might account for some of their lapses in memory.